Okay, we are back again to this amazing, almost 90-year-old Singer 128-3. Again, an amazing machine. Uh, I just can't tell you enough as far as whoever gets this machine is going to have a following of people at a quilting or a sewing class. Uh, it is just breathtaking to look at. Uh, but you know what? When business comes to business, it can sew with the big boys, even though it's a petite powerhouse. And we're going to demonstrate that again with this upholstery material. This is unbelievably strong stuff. It's used in a commercial setting. Uh, I could yank on it a little bit and just show you how strong it is from that standpoint. It's used on furniture. It's used on Davenports. Anywhere there's going to be a huge amount of traffic and wear because it's designed to stand up to it. And going through just a couple layers of this would prove again how strong this 128-3 in fact is. Again, 0.6 amps of power compared to the featherweight that has only 0.4 amps of power. And it's 3 inches shorter in overall length than the featherweight. But we're going to max it out as usual and we're going to go through a total of 10 layers of this upholstery material. Let me rotate it like this. We're going to start with these two layers right here. I'm going to give it one fold to get us up to four layers. Folding it again, we're up to six. Now we're up to eight. And I'm going to fold it one last time to get us to a total of ten layers. That's kind of hard to see. Let me rotate it around this way so you can see what those ten layers in fact look like. Can you believe it? We're talking ten layers of upholstery material that's commercial grade. Follow me down to the needle and watch what this petite powerhouse can do with material as thick and as difficult to pierce as this. And notice as well, you quilters out there that are looking for a machine with a lot of presser foot clearance, that's a total of 10 layers of commercial grade upholstery material and there's still space uh, left over that you could fit additional quilt batting underneath there. All right, here we go. 10 layers of some real tough commercial grade upholstery material. Here we go. Listen to that run. Man, oh man, that machine is quiet, isn't it? And I'd have to take a little bit of credit for that because I personally service every machine that we have on eBay and this machine, man oh man is she ready to go to work. There's our top stitch right there and again we're looking at a total of 10 layers of commercial grade upholstery material. Let me pull it back this way as well. The pattern makes it a little bit tough to see but hopefully that camera is nice and tight. That stitch formation, the stitch quality, the stitch integrity, it just doesn't get any better than that. As we rotate it around this way, look at again what 10 layers of commercial upholstery material looks like. I'm telling you one thing, if you were trying this on a newer type Singer machine, kind you'd pick up at a fabric store or something like that, you better be a couple blocks away from the repair shop because that's where you'd have to go. But this machine, look at that lock-in as well, this machine is just made, it was born back in 1924 to do this type of sewing. You know what? Every single thing that we put in front of this petite powerhouse of a 128-3, it just eats it up. 